Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to watch this video today, this video that I found on YouTube. In one of my past videos, um, I mentioned that I would love to hear Morissette perform songs that are more classical in nature, like the Phantom of the Opera. So I tried searching for it online, and this is what I found. For some of you who are not familiar with the musical, there is an actual song called Phantom of the Opera from the stage musical of the same title. Though it's not exactly the song I'm looking for, it is one of the most popular tunes from the musical. It's called All I Ask of You. But there are two known versions of this, at least from what I know. First is the classical duet version from the stage play, and the other is a more pop-sounding version popularized by Miss Barbara Streisand. So seeing that she is alone in the thumbnail, I suppose, I suppose she's doing the Barbara Streisand solo version. Nonetheless, I'd love to hear how she sounds. But before anything else, please follow me on Instagram at Max underscore T. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos to get a chance to win prizes. For the full mechanics, please check out the link above. Before we play the video, please note that I got this video from Heavenly Gifted Voice. So if you want to watch the original video without any interruptions, without my comments, please check out the link in my description box and it will lead you to the original video. So let us put on our earphones and get things started. Then I'll start na muna na babae. No more talk of darkness. Forget these wide-eyed fears. Oh, nothing can harm you. My words and cold will warm and calm you. Sorry. She is obviously just rehearsing and not really performing. But who cares? All I want to know is how she sounds like singing this kind of songs. For the first verse, I think she's not giving us full classical singing, neither is she giving us fully pop singing. So I guess this will be a cross of both versions. Let me be your freedom, let daylight dry your tears. With you beside you to guard you and to guard you. By the way, how do you differentiate classical singing from pop singing? Now, there are a lot of ways to tell them apart, but the most basic, without going into too much details, without spending a whole hour discussing this, would be number one the use of rounder voices. Forget these wide-eyed fears, I'm here. As compared to, forget these wide-eyed fears, I'm here. Hear the difference? Number two, hitting straight notes without rolling over from one note to another. Let daylight dry your tears, I'm here with you beside you, to guard you and to guide you. Versus, let daylight dry your tears, I'm here with you beside you, to guard you and to guide you. That's the difference. By the way, the reason why I wanted to hear her sing classical songs is because 
After listening to her cover of Chandelier, I noticed that her head voice has this very strong and piercing quality that I think would work really, really well with classical soprano pieces. So I hope we get to hear that somewhere in the song later. That is what I'm talking about. That clean and clear head voice. That is one of the things uh, I've been waiting for. But as of now, she is using a very light tone. Not sure if she will retain this lightness all throughout or will she up the intensity as we go along. We'll find out. So Do you know what I admire about this young lady, apart from her immense pool of talent, of course? She seems very down-to-earth, and she doesn't seem to have a lot of ego going on. The fact that she is willing to share with everyone her rehearsal clips that are not always perfect, like now she's struggling with her piano notes, for someone who has a huge ego, you will not put yourself out there like that. That's all I ask of you, of you. When I worked with her the first time, this was years and years and years ago, she was still starting out. Obviously, she was very humble then. And I'm glad that despite what she has achieved, the level of success she has attained, I'm still getting the same vibe from her now as when I first met her years ago. Let's continue. Let me be your shelter and let me be your light. You're safe. No one will find you. We can all see how relaxed she is doing this. She's not trying to show off, uh, not trying to tell us, look how good I am. But instead, she's just casually serenading us and of course, practicing her keyboard skills. Always beside me to hold me and to guide me. Again, she is giving us classical singing in the roundness of her voice, but giving us pop in the way uh, she's rolling over from one note to another. Always beside me to hold me and to guide me. But she sounds good. Nothing wrong with what she's doing. Like I said, she's doing a fusion of both pop and classical singing. I am so in love with the clarity of her head voice. You know, I still believe that she can pull off a full classical piece if she wants to. She may not be used to it, but if she undergoes future training, or further training rather, I don't think it's going to be hard for her. The fact that she has a wide vocal range, that's already an advantage. Let's get back to the video. So That's 
That's all I ask of you. Okay, she's actually doing the duet version, not the solo version. How did I know? She just sang the male part, Christine, that's all I ask of you, which is not part of the Barbara Streisand solo version. And I'm so excited about this. You'll know why once we reach uh, the end of the song. I hope I'm right though. Moving on. Honestly speaking, I'm not quite sure if this clip would provide a clear-cut answer to my question, which is how will she sound like singing a classical piece? Because she's not giving us a performance. But that's fine. Let us just enjoy her soothing music, her soothing voice. And again, this part, you know I do, is the classical duet version. So I have a good hunch that I'll get to hear the part I've been waiting for all along. Excited! Love me, that's all I ask of you. This is the part I am referring to, which is not part of the pop version. Well, there was never a doubt in my mind that she can reach these notes. After all, the highest note is just a flat five, I think, which is relatively easy for her. But of course, I wanted to hear how she'll deliver it in the classical way. My verdict, it sounds good, but it's not perfect from the classical point of view. As pleasant as it sounds, she just needs a little more roundness in her voice to make it sound 100% classical. But like I said earlier, she wasn't delivering this song in a strictly classical manner in the first place. So. Whatever. Love me, that's all I ask you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes, Edu from Japan. Thank you, thank you so much. Hi, Hachi. Thank you for the Malacanang poster as always. Hey, grabe, aabutin ata talaga nila ng 1M today. My goodness. All right, this next song. I don't know why I love it when she speaks this way, when she is not being formal. It sounds so endearing to me. Maybe because we have the same accent when we speak in Tagalog. Okay, am I disappointed? Yes, only because she chose not to sing it the 100% classical way. But I am not disappointed listening to her because I did enjoy her rendition a lot. But like I said earlier, I strongly believe that she can do it if she wants to. But the question is, the only question is, does she want to? It's up to her, but I believe in her. I do. She can do it if she wants to. So what do you guys think of her version of this song, All I Ask of You, from The Phantom of the Opera? Did you like it? If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And please do not forget to comment down below. 
But again, reminding everyone to please keep your comments respectful at all times. We can choose to agree or disagree with one another without slashing each other's throats. Let us continue to spread love, not hate. With that, thank you all for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Q. Stay safe and happy everyone. See you soon.